Lee, how did it feel to get back to action? Yeah, it was nice. Um, it was nice to get 90 minutes under my belt. Um, it's been a while, um, but you know, it was it was great to get back out there and you know get three points, which we went out went out and done. How is your fitness now? Are you back to full fitness? You think? Yeah, I'm back to full fitness. Um, you know, I missed the last two weeks with, with a little injury, uh, ankle injury, but now I've been back training last week, and um, you know, I was I was happy that I was in the in the starting eleven uh, Saturday, and you know. Completed 90 minutes. And also getting that good result. I mean, how is everyone feeling just the, the past couple of weeks, the results you've got? Yeah, um, lads are full of confidence. You know, we, we believe in ourselves as a, as a team. Um, and I think the manager, obviously, you know, he shows his passion and his belief that he has in us as well. So, you know, lads go, go out on the training field and work as hard as they can, day in, day out, um, you know, and try to go out on a Saturday or a Sunday, whenever the games are, to you know, the main thing is to go out there and get get the three points. How frustrating? So I was going to say, how frustrating the last couple of weeks been for you? Because not only have you been injured, but a lot of other defenders as well. So it would have been a chance for you to perhaps get a decent run in the team. Yeah, um, there was there's a lot of opportunities, but it's football. Things happen, um, and there's there's loads of ups and there's loads of downs. And at that time, obviously, I you know I was injured for for that time. But um, as I said before, I was grateful that I you know got got in the starting 11 at the weekend and was able to get 90 minutes. Even if the performance wasn't to the you know the absolute level that you maybe wanted, just how important was it to get the win under your belt? Yeah, very important. Um, you know, I thought we started started bright, started well, got an early goal. Um, and, you know, in the second half, I thought we, we made it quite difficult for ourselves. Um, but, you know, we dug in deep, showed our character, you know, got an early goal back to make it 2-1, um, you know, and stayed in the game. Um, but the main thing for us there was, you know, coming coming out at the end of the game with three points, um, and now looking on to the next game. How do you view this game coming up? Then, I mean, is it a chance to, to lay down a marker and show that you perhaps can compete going forward, or is it is it, you know, does this game just speak for itself? Yeah, it's every game is important. I think from the first game of the season to the last game of the season. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to go out there and prove a point, and you know, get three points and show that we, we can compete because we know as a, as a team uh, that we're more than good enough to compete and um, we've got two games left and we'll go out there and you know, try to do our best and you know, finish the finish season with six points from the last two games. With the manager um, assessing the situation ahead of the summer and he's assessing every player of course, are performances perhaps almost more important than points at the moment? Um, Individual performances? No, I don't think so. I think as a collective, um, as a team, every player wants to perform and needs to perform for the team to play well or win games. Um, you know, sometimes it might not be going away, and we, you know, you do you dig in deep, work hard, and we know, may not be playing as well as we could be, but we're coming out with three points. Um, so, obviously, playing well will you know help help decide whether you know for the manager to look at you, but. At this moment in time, it's more as a team. You know, we're, we're a team. This is about not individuals. It's about the collective group, and we need to work hard and carry on. You know, trying to get the three points and playing as best as we can. The manager said that he needs strong characters here, um, suggesting maybe that there there isn't that kind of mentality. Maybe that he's looking for at the moment. Do you, do you get what he, what he means by that? Um, that's obviously. You know, the manager looks looks at the team and he obviously knows what, what he wants and he has his ways and his strategies how he wants to play. So, you know, obviously that's down to the manager to decide who, who he thinks has that and who doesn't. Um, as a group of lads, all we can do is work hard every day on that training pitch, um, keep improving, keep you know trying to impress and fight for places in the team um, and go out there on a Saturday and put on a performance or and get the three points. Have you spoken to him last year? Has he given you any indication about him? Your place in the squad or something? No, not yet, no. Um, to be honest, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm, you know, there's two games left of the season. Um, they're, they're the most important things at the moment. Um, so I'm just concentrating on, on, on the games, um, working hard in training. And uh, that, that's my only focus at the moment. And whatever happens, happens. Is that an anxious time, though? I mean, you've signed a contract think, three years at the club here, but if you've got. Doubts over whether or not you'll be here. Does that give you any sort of cause for concern? Um, no, not really. As I said before, it's it's one of those things that you're not really thinking about at the moment. There's still two games left of the season. Um, 
you know, we can worry about that at the end of the season once these once these games are done. Um, so to be honest with you, my, my my focus is fully on on these last two games and um, going out there and finish the season on a high and finish you know get six points out of the last two games. It's obviously for Clint that his time up here. I mean, there's as you can see, it's a sort of brave call given that he's been probably one you would say when the the team's better performers this season. If he's if he's willing to sort of like guys like that go who've played so well this season, it shows that he's got a sort of ruthless side to him, I suppose. Clint's been fantastic. Clint's, as you say, he's been he's done very well this season. Um, but you know that's that's not my business to be talking about. That's obviously between him and him and the manager. But you no, know, as I say, for Clint, he's a top professional. Um, you, you can see that on the pitch and off the pitch. He's a great lad. Um, and you know we, we wish him all the best. But as I said before, it's, it's that's between the manager and Clint. Well, that means it shows that the manager's willing to take these hard decisions for, for the betterment of the team. Um, obviously, it's it's one of those one of those things. As you say, he's going to make decisions on players, um, and that, that's that's down to him to decide. It's not for it's, it's not for me to talk about. It's, it's for the manager to decide that and talk about. There's been a lot of discussion about players coming in for next season. Would you like to see your, your Northern Ireland teammate Kyle Lafferty here? Um, yeah, you know, Kyle's he's he's a great lad. Um, obviously, he's he's he played. He's been performing for Northern Ireland, done very well, especially at the, you know leading up to Euros and at the Euros. Um, you know he's a goal scorer. Um, you know he's been been here before. The, the fans know him very well. Um, you know it'd be nice to see him here, but obviously that's that's down to you know the, the, the manager and whoever else. Um, but now Carl, um, I know I think he's out of contract now, so you know, that's that's down to him to decide as well. Do, does he still talk about Rangers when you, you speak when you speak to him now? Um, yeah, obviously. They had they had a great time here. Um, you know, even Stephen Davis and people like Roy Carroll, who um, you know before I signed here, spoke to me about the club and you know, told me how big it is and you know, it's fantastic. Um, you know, it's, it'd be a great opportunity to come here. So, you know, yeah, they, they do talk about it um, and they talk talk ever so highly of the club, the fans, you know, everyone everyone about it. So, yeah, they they do still talk talk to me about I think he's, I think Kyle said, I think he's on record saying he sort of regrets leaving. Can you understand where he comes from now? No. Yeah, definitely. Um, when, once you're at a big club, you want, you want to stay at a big club. Um, so, you know, I can I can see why he said that, but um, Kyle's, he proves himself wherever he goes, um, especially at the top level as well. Leading up to Euros, scored, was a top goal scorer for Northern Ireland to get us to Euros. And then when he was out there as well, he was, He's still still scoring, and even this start of this campaign, um, and he hasn't been playing that much football, and he's still been performing very well for Northern Ireland. So I'm, I'm sure there'll be a lot of teams interested in him.